Hello everybody, I miss you so much. They have this wonderful discoveries in my favorite medium watercolor. There are my paintings from demonstration for film in my upcoming course. And this is how my bookshelf looks like. This is my new orders for books about watercolors. Victoria Finley about color. I already read some pages and get so excited to continue. I finished uh, this Crystal and Flowers by Susanna Span here, beautiful cover. And this is my materials. I've got a driver license in Ontario, so this is my information kit. Somehow this reminds me of water. And if I took a large new white piece of paper, I can have more fun with it. And somehow I rem you know, a few weeks ago I visited Niagara Falls in Ontario. I live in Ontario, Canada. And I have a few photographs I took. And what if I will paint a falls today? Let's remember what we did today. I show you what is a watercolor and what is the different from any other medium. Not every painting come to the final stage. For example, this one. I make a decision that I want to apply my favorite watercolor technique, which is called Charming imperfections, you know, roses in natural life has these defects and perfect dots, some kind of like imperfections. And those are perfect, they're soft and clear and nice, and I want to add life into them. So in a minute I will splat a color on top in some places and how this painting come alive easily just with splattering. So yes, I think that's it. What next for today? I have an exciting idea and come up with interesting point. I believe with watercolor you don't need much and I learn and discover how to use this medium with simplicity. Just explore how it dries using different ways of, you know, water, color, placement, the shape, the angle, playing with these options and not painting. I learned to listen what happens on the paper. With this set of options This flower is a lighting on a paper. Magic. On uh, this wash I used cobalt blue violet. And I already see a watermarks. I don't need to wait with this watercolor. Very active pigments look. And this is a very, very last dot of this watercolor. My cell is empty, so this tube in my shopping list. 
I have another flowers. <laughs> Many flowers today, right? Through the days, imagine a month, in a month, how you can grow with such exercises. My new experiment with watercolor watermarks and how I can use them for my subject. Now this is cobalt green pale. Let's check it out with the same thing but with different color and see what happens. I can't remove a cleaner while it is still wet, so I wait while this is dry and magic happens. And now my painting completely dry. Let's quickly remove and see petals from my good rangers. Magical. Uh, this time uh, this is Cobalt Blue Hue by Cotman Watercolors with Newton. It is too early yet to see the magic happens. My another try this evening I fall in love with the process this is so lucky piece it's covered with lucky areas there is a tones of inspiration for future compositions I like this splattering effect like a fluffy cotton effect and this is a joy the sunshine summer on my easel but this is winter outside I'm so happy with this one. Uh, those needs just a few touches. And yes, I don't know what will be at the end and it's not exciting way of painting. Today I am testing new watercolor paper and new watercolor in the same at, at once. I'm so excited to see how it turns. I love this. Look how huge is that, as well as a tube, 21 milliliters. And this is what I come up with. My very first layer, still wet. This is a large sea salt crystals. Makes sea form for me. With this piece, I can just make like this or that or more depth just imagine to cover this see with such color i want to show you something wonderful uh, this is it leave it this is beautiful wash and valuable exercise for everyday warm-ups for exploring new colors how they look together when they in one wash and yes that's it the all that's it for today and i hope to see you very soon see you bye